Looking at the mesh itself, it's already colonizing. This mesh was clean white. Now you can see all of the little algaes building up. And especially that piece right there looks like a big What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Hugh with Prolific Breed. We're standing in front of the Lagoon 25 again. And I haven't posted a video in about two weeks now. And I've been getting comments on the last video of how this marine magic algae scrubber is doing. So it has been about two weeks. And these guys have been in here for about two weeks. So I think it's time to kind of let them free in this tank because they had two weeks to kind of observe each other and kind of get to know each other with the barrier in front of them and I'm sure these guys want to get out of this breeder box they're still little babies and I was concerned that this big guy right here would just straight up go in and attack them but it's been two weeks and I think it's ready to be released into the tank. This is just a Lee's breeder box. And I'm trying to do this one hand right now. It has a lid, lid on it. I'm taking off the lid and I'm gonna let them go free. We'll keep an eye on them. <laughs> if they get too aggressive, I'll move them back into the breeder box. But I wanted to get that out of the way for now. Oh no. I got some water dripping on the glass, so I just wiped it up. Here are the two Picasso clowns that I picked up from Russell. One's premium, one's regular. They're hanging together. These guys are down here so I wanted to do a video with the, an update on the marine magic algae scrubber and how I like it so far so I have some algae spots right here I want to document it now like right on top of this um, RFG random flow generator I have some um, turf buildup right there and I have some turf or some brown algae on this um, magnetic scrubber. Also, you can see on my wave maker, I have algae build up right there. If you look in the tank, some of these um, frag tiles, it has brown, brown and green algae on it. This rock has algae on it. I don't have... Um, hair algae I think the yellow tang um, just gobbles it up so I'm gonna use these rocks and I guess the RFG because it, it shows a lot of um, brown algae like turf algae and on this mag float I want to use it as a reference to see if this marine magic algae scrubber works um, I took a little peek earlier today and I saw some algae build up in there and I wanted to share with you guys. Now up top I placed some um, floss, it's polyester um, batting for filling um, if you're building pillowcases or anything like that. It's picked, I picked it up at Walmart and I use it to floss all of my um, aquariums floss meaning flossing the water to kind of get it crystal clear so this pumps just picking up like water at random and it's pulling it into this um, container and it's overflowing and when it's overflowing I just put this um, floss right here to capture any loose debris so my tank could be super crystal clear like so now let me turn off the pump the controller it makes it easy right here middle button is to turn off the pump with the pump off we're gonna check the screen just saw a, 
a little bit of algae the other day, but I'm curious to see how it looks today. You can see right there. It's like gooey. It looks like gooey slime buildup on this um, mesh. And I think a loose piece of um, algae got in there. And it's just starting to kind of proliferate and build up right there. I'm doing this one handed so it might not be focused. There you go. It's certainly building up on the screen and it looks like it's slimy. <laughs> Not even sure. Here's the other end. There's definitely algae building up right there. It's been about two weeks and I've been leaving the light on 24 7. And I just kind of replaced the aqua clear off the bat. And I was kind of concerned that the tank would not adjust accordingly with me um, switching everything um, so drastically and suddenly you know but then inside the display itself I don't have any algae issues I do have to scrape the glass and all of that but I don't have any hair algae I just see the little brown and green algae on the frag tiles and this brown algae up here. Overall, with this um, developing algae, I'm pretty happy with it. It didn't take too long to get the algae colony established on the mesh, just about a week or two, but I had the light on for 24 seven. My aqua clear was also on for 24 seven, and I believe that refugium kept a lot of the algae at bay um, I do have algae, I did have algae up here on the RFGs and I would, I would take care of that manually myself by scrubbing it along with the wave maker every now and then to keep everything um, nice and clean. But for this test, I want to keep um, everything as is and see if this um, algae scrubber would outcompete my Ocean Revive light in producing algae. So we want to see if this device contains all of the algae inside and I want to see if this algae right here um, recedes and slowly disappears. Over here it was way more brown throughout. I see it kind of receding so in the next couple of weeks, I'll be doing more updates on the algae scrubber and how much algae is going to be produced from this um, marine magic algae scrubber. So I have all of the pumps off so we can get that top down view. The two Picassos, they're still kind of shy and hang up up here hanging out in the corner of the tank right here. The other two, they're under the rack. It's also shy, but the tank's looking pretty good. I don't have that much um, hair algae. I just have that brown turf algae up here, which we reference and we'll keep an eye out. I'm pretty happy with the algae scrubber so far. Because just looking at the mesh itself, it's already colonizing. This mesh was clean white. Now you can see all of the little algaes building up. And especially that piece right there looks like a big booger of algae. It's all slimy. And it's coming through the other side as well. I'm pretty sure if I didn't have um, this unit running, all of that gunk would be growing and building up inside the tank. My tank is looking pretty clean so far. Um, with the help of the aqua clear, I didn't have any hair algae at all. I do have to scrape my glass every now and then 
you can see back there um, there's algae on the glass but I don't think you can get away from scraping glass um, tanks doing good my posilopora was expanding rapidly and it was touching my alveopora looks like a potted flower plant right there I started off with a little frag and for both of these units right here and they got pretty big within a year so once it started kind of touching I know that it killed my other stylo so I didn't want them to touch at all so I started fragging them so on this side you see all of these little frags it's from cuttings from this unit right here the posilopora all of my torches they look great and on this side I have hammers and I have a space invader in the middle and a bunch of different um, zoas and pallies in the center and down here I have this um, Pandora Pally just taking over this entire rack. And some Sunny D's right there, Monk Cap, Mushrooms. You have Mushrooms down here. So OG Bounce and Sunkiss Bounce. And my Sunkiss Bounce, it looks like it's ripping itself apart again. But I started with one. I have two and now it looks like the main um the main piece is like splitting in half like an anemone i'm not even sure but yeah pretty happy with the the algae scrubber i'll update you guys next week on how much more algae develops on this screen so far it looks like it's doing its job the lights are working i have it running 24 7 it's keeping my tank clear of algae. I don't see buildup of algae, anything different from the AquaClear Refugium that I had in place. Um, I have this floss up top so we can kind of floss the water to keep everything clear. So I'm not even flossing through the back chambers anymore I'm just letting it flow through and I'm just flossing right here and it's easy to see the buildup and I'll just grab and discard this when it's filled up with debris but yeah guys I just wanted to do a quick update because I had several people asking me about the about the algae scrubber and how I like it I really like it so far the only thing I would change is um, with the pump pumping water in maybe have water pumping ex through the exterior and to the bottom so we have all of the water pushing from bottom up top with the pump pumping water to the corner in here water makes it in through but then I think there's a lot of bypass where water would just not even go through the chamber but it would just bypass and come straight out that's the only thing I would change about the the algae scrubber. But here's another shot of the tank with the white lights on. Everything's looking really fluffy and big. Just running out of space with this tank. That's why I got the Red Sea Reefer 350. Um, I'll update you guys with the 350 next week. It's, it's getting crazy in there as well and I'm running out of space. But yeah, I'll... Catch you guys on the next one.